Hey YouTube, thanks for watching again. I'm very excited. I just got my Maxpedition Kodiak back from Fight and Flight Tactical. Um, if any of you saw my earlier video that I did on my uh, Maxpedition Kodiak, you'll uh, remember that I said for the size of this pack and the amount of weight you can stuff into it because it's uh, so well organized and the size, it, uh, the one strap of being a gear slinger really just doesn't work for it. It really begs to have backpack straps on it. Um, that being said, the more I was carrying it, the more I was getting disappointed. And I really didn't want to give up the pack because I love the organization. But the one strap was just really bogging me down. So, I uh, did some checking around. I saw someone else on EDC forums had some work done by Fight and Flight Tactical. So I uh, sent an email, did an inquiry, and lo and behold, uh, I think total time that the pack was gone was three weeks, and that's partially because it took me a week to mail it to the guy because I uh, cheaped out on the shipping. But uh, anyhow, so he had it for a week, and it took uh, three days three days for him to mail it to me or for it to get in the mail to get back to me. So I'll uh, kind of show you what I did. I had, again, my problem was the one pack, or the one shoulder strap and again with the size I really wanted to have two back uh, two backpack straps on it so again uh, just real quick let me uh, give my shameless plug to fight and play tactical not getting anything for it I had to pay for this but it was worth every penny it was reasonably priced first of all and secondly the work that this guy did was absolutely phenomenal uh, Dave Watson over there did a great job um, now, no more suspense, let me show you. There it is. Two backpack straps, kind of the curved style that uh, is more comfortable. And don't know how well this is really going to come out in the video. Hopefully you guys can really make out the colors, and how he got an actual color match. Uh, the, the Kodiak that I have is in the khaki foliage. Uh, color combo which I absolutely love and for those of you that have seen this up close and personal the khaki is not a true khaki um, I would call it more of a coyote tan but it's a little darker than that and somehow he did it he found Cordura nylon or you know a thousand deep nylon that absolutely matches color uh, texture and everything so I was really really excited about that um, the uh, let me flip this over again. Again, kind of hard to see, a little washed out probably. But the webbing, not an actual foliage. It, again, it's kind of washed out. He used actual foliage, foliage, excuse me, webbing and hardware. So it's a the hardware is, is the same match. The webbing is a little off, but you know, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Again, look it up here where the backpack tack, backpack straps were attached. I mean, you can't even tell that it didn't come from the factory like that. I, I can't overestimate or, or underestimate, I don't know. I can't just begin to say what a great, great job was done on that. And you know, even looking from the inside, you can see a few extra stitches in there. It's real hard to see in the camera, but oh my God, I, I can't say enough great things about it. Um, the straps are nice and comfortable. They're padded. It's got the air mesh on them. He added uh, molly as I wanted. Um, there's a sternum strap on there. I just kind of have it wrapped up there. Um, it's got the, the Fast X clips up here. And the other thing, uh, for those of you that have seen the Kodiaks, this side here, this is well, he, he did want to modify it because he, he wanted to match the mesh on both sides because normally the backpack mesh you can look better it's not a real open mesh as this is um, so he did this is the side on a Kodiak that comes from Maxpedition you only have a, a waist attachment point on this side so um, I'm guessing as he took it off to make a pattern for this other side but uh, kind of hard to with all the strapping to really tell but I mean they're identical it again the way he, he pulled the seams apart put the stuff in here unbelievable absolutely phenomenal job of what he did 
the color matching and everything. I just I'm so impressed with um, real good quality, heavy, extra double stitched um, at every point, even the Molly straps. I, I can't begin to say enough. Um, thank you very much to Fight and Flight Tactical and Dave Watson for that. So I'm actually going to get some real good use out of this pack now. Um, once I load it up, I'll give it a uh, you know give it a couple weeks. Come back to y'all, let you know how it's carrying, and I'm sure it'll be some good reviews. So again, y'all had the same situation I did, maybe with a Sitka or a, a Kodiak. I think the no attack's probably way on the small side. That weight's not an issue. But if you have a Kodiak and you're not happy with the single strap, you want to go to two straps, very reasonable, pr reasonable price for having this done for the quality of work that you get. Made in the USA quality by him. Um, check him out if you're interested. I'll put um, the website down in the comments below. But uh, again, Max Edition Kodiak, going to be going back in service as my work EDC. I'm very excited. Great work done on this. Now having made the, uh, the turn from a gear slinger into a regular backpack. Thanks for watching. Drop any comments below. And uh, again, thanks. Take care.